so welcome back guys to the new video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe it as well as like this video so in this video we gonna talk about Kanye West so in a recent podcast of Alex Jones Kanye West really went crazy like really crazy so basically in this podcast he talked about many things such as Nazis, Balenciaga, Ben Shapiro, Dev Chappelle and many other things so first we gonna talk about Nazi thing so basically he said he loved Nazis and he loved lot of things about Hitler which really shocked everyone and he basically defend Nazis in this podcast so here's the clip. I don't want to hear anything from the ADL or anybody else. But for the ADL, I want to say there's a lot of good Nazis that were just fighting for their country. And for them all... Like George Soros. For them all to get put in a box. They're all in a box. Every Nazi's bad. Well, could some of the Nazis have just been fighting for their country? Oh, they're all... Oh, we can't, we can't put them all in a box. No, I get you're, you're explaining that, like you said, you love the Zionists. You don't agree with some of the things they're doing, even though you don't support a lot of what's happening. Seriously, I've, I've really studied a lot of history. Plus, I had family that was there. And so, I mean, I, I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but, I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer, can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we, we, no, I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Hey, uh, Netten, what did you think about that, Netten? This is insane. You are an insane person. How could you say something? It's okay that- So let me ask you, you like the Azog Battalion because they openly howl Hitler. They're the leftovers of World War II. They support Zelensky and attacking Russia. So you like the Azog Battalion. I love everyone. Well, my point is you weren't involved with Hitler. You didn't do anything. So having the ADL say anybody that opposes communism and, and the New World Order is a Nazi, well, you kind of get what you give, you no, know? No one no one cares about the ADL. They're played out. Jesus well, is they run. Harvard. They, they ran Twitter till last week. But they, yeah, I hear you. they don't run anything. No one knows the ADL. No one cares. They're played out. Look at, people have had a problem. Look at uh, Clockwork Orange. There's a part where a Jewish guy makes the guy kiss the shoe and he says, kiss the lick the kiss the Jew. Like people have had issues with Jewish people forever. But what I'm saying is I love Jewish people. I love Jewish people. Yes, we're talking about Stanley Kubrick. Put the war room background up. The end there. So, <laughs> I, so, you think Clockwork Orange is about Jews? Absolutely. Look at it. I thought it was about a collapsing. You know, Stanley Kubrick was a Jew. Oh, wow. Then he talk about Ben Shapiro when Alex Jones asked him, is Ben Shapiro on a leash? So here is his response. I want to say with Ben Shapiro, he was so disrespectful to his employee, Candace Owens, for speaking out against me. And that just showed you another level of this kind of control that's out there. No, I agree. I like Candace. She has a lot of courage. She's a really smart, beautiful lady. She's really defended you. Uh, but I mean, are you saying Ben Shapiro's got her on a leash? I think it's pretty obvious. You know, as our Paul Watson, she, we didn't launch her. She deserved it. But InfoWars launched Candace Owens. Yes, but everyone is still controlled by the Jewish media. We need to serve Christ first. Christ first. After that, he talked about Balenciaga conspiracy theory. So here's his opinion. Balenciaga, though, you were going to, I mean, just overall, what do you, because obviously you were with a lot of fashion brands. And now all the stuff's come out. It's almost like they did this on purpose as a PR stunt. I think so. You know, I'm friends with the head designer, uh, and I believe that it was a setup. I think it was a hit job. And now all of a sudden, everyone is so outraged and focused on Balenciaga, but then we're still aborting our kids. We're still fornicating. We're still, um, we're still killing each other. We're still listening to music that promotes that. But, oh, we don't, we don't wear Balenciaga now. You shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, what are you doing? You're throwing stones. Oh, my God. But, you know, our moral code, we just we just cheated on our wives. We just we just fornicated. We just had threesomes. We just bought some sex on Instagram. We just sold some sex. We use sex to sell a product. But we don't like Balenciaga. Shut up. Shut up. I'm throwing the tablets right now. Shut up. Instagram is about prostitution and everyone involved in any version of the sex business is as bad as the pedophile. So everyone shut up. Yeah. Then you talk about Dev Chappelle. So as you already know, I think two weeks ago, Dev Chappelle got criticized for his jokes on Kanye West as well as his return in SNL. So here's his response. But I'm just saying, it's like I've known a lot of Jews in my life and I didn't have the Hollywood experience you had. 
uh, I actually, all the Jews in my life uh, overall were, were, were very nice people. Is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm actually tired of hearing about the Jews. Like I love them. Honestly, I don't even care that much, <laughs> you know. But we I, spent the last three out, two hours talking about them. Because I mean, it's fun. It's fun. Being you don't want to hear about them. We want to talk about them all because day. Because being canceled is fun because we're showing you guys the extent that you can go, right? Because everything at this point that you do proves my point. Watch this. If I say Death Con 3 and then you cancel all of my deals, you proved exactly why I needed to go Def Con. No, no, I agree with let what you just said. Let me stop you. Because Dave Chappelle. Alex, Alex, Alex. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me channel. All right, go let ahead. Let me channel. All right. If, if, if I, uh, and uh, Dave Chappelle works for the Jews anyway. So if, if I say, uh, now I forgot what I had to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm right sorry. Here. Go ahead. Love you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, and also in this podcast, Kanye West denied the Holocaust and even accused Barack Obama. So basically, he accused Barack Obama of being Jewish. So here's the clip. Well, I just think you should not want to be Hitler's coming man. I didn't say I was. I don't. I don't really care that much about Hitler. I love him. Seems like you just do it as a way to like a troll. No, he seems like a cool guy. You know, it's like he. Uh, <laughs> he. You know, it's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And, uh, and so you're in love with the with the with the with the with the, arch the, the the look of it. And he didn't kill six million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. Yeah, let's get the Ronald Reagan clip they showed me yesterday. Sorry, go ahead. Ronald Reagan said that too. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. So I think you know. I think Obama killed Palestinians. <laughs> no, I hear you. Here, here's where I think the frustration is. And Nick, you can comment on this. And Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. Americans are tired of hearing that we're Hitler and that we did bad things when we defeated Hitler. And that's my Look, biggest beef. Let's is, not say his name anymore. Only say Christ's name moving forward. I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm, I'm tired saying. of hearing I'm a Nazi. I'm really sick. I'm not. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people are going to become Nazis. I, I am. I am. <coughs> now what? I am. What? Well, there are many other things we talk about. So if you want to watch the whole podcast, I will put a link in my description. And after this incident, Kanye West, Nazis is trending on Twitter. And also, if you remember back in October, Elon Musk posted a tweet where basically he posted a meme of him and Kanye West and said fun times ahead. But after this podcast, Elon Musk deleted that tweet. Even GOP deleted their Elon Musk, Kanye West from tweet. Well, this is just a starting of drama. After this podcast, Kanye West posted a series of tweets on his Twitter account. And in one of that tweet he revealed his symbol for 2024 presidential campaign so as you can see in your screen it is basically swastika inside the star of david but this tweet basically violated the twitter rules and this tweet got deleted then he posted a screenshot of his stash with elon musk where he basically asked elon musk why his tweet got deleted and elon musk replied and said sorry but you have gone too far this is not love and kanye west replied and said who made you the judge and after that kanye west revealed he caught chris paul slept with his ex-wife kim kardashian and after this tweet, Kim K, Kim Kardashian, and Chris Paul was trending on Twitter. And after this series of controversial tweet, Kanye West finally get banned from tweeting out anything on Twitter for 12 hours. Well, Kanye West getting really crazy. He really defended Nazis 1000 times in Alex Jones podcast. What do you guys think about it? Please comment down below as well as like this video and subscribe this channel. I will see you next video. Until then, bye bye.